Lincoln's Legends is on a mission. Its goal is to spread awareness about the people that make the capital city great, digging deeper into the people and the art that collectively are the culture of the capital city. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I'm sorry this is take eight because uh, I, I couldn't afford the equipment that I wanted to when we filmed the first time, but now I have high quality equipment. Um, I got to spend an awesome amount of time with your family. Um, it just, it makes me more inspired than it was the last time without like fanboying out on you and everything because I've always seen you as this aggressive, just this animal and there is a softer side to you. What's that? What's, it's in there. Like, I'm not showing anybody else, but... It's the same thing. What? It's the same thing. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, I'm saying, like, I don't know that a lot of people know the softer side. They only see the beast. They only see, you know, you as this uh, warrior. But it's really awesome to be able to sit and, you know, and, and talk to your family. I mean, that's why reality TV's addictive, I guess. I don't watch it. I try to make it with this. Good luck. I mean, that's what, good luck. It's everywhere. You, you're not not watching it. You can sit here and try to tell me you don't watch the shit, but I guarantee you know all the shows. If I name them, you know them. And well, I'll say this. I think my reality TV has become YouTube um, with vloggers and things like that. Right. So it's, it's their version of reality. But um, I, I don't want to take up your entire night, but I do have to get a little bit of content from you. Um, let's start talking about the fight. When is it? Uh, October 21st. And where is it? Memphis, Tennessee. And how many times have you fought in Memphis? Never. Never? Yeah. So is it a first for, I mean, not only the opponent, so who are you fighting? Oh, I can't say that yet. They got the oh, Bellator they, has to release it. It hasn't been released yet. Uh -uh. Oh, shit. So we, we can, can tell you what day. Soon. We can tell you what day, but. Really? They how how does that go? It. How? Why is it so secret? Like I don't know anything about it. Because it's their company. Ireland some shit, and I told someone to don't say anything until we release it. Then no, I agree. I agree 100. percent I just thought that there had already been. House. Okay, so you need you need this to drop soon. So like right when they announce whoever you're fighting, we I told can say, you. I know you told me, but see, I don't. What's that mean? I said I got I fight next month, and then I. Said, I Literally mean next month. No, like I, Thirty days. I like, agree, but I also thought I could Google who you were fighting, and then I'd say, okay, we're gonna talk about blah 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 today because I, I, unfortunately, I live in a bubble. And on the way here, thank you for waiting, but I got to help a buddy of mine that bought an elephant that he wants to put in parades, and it was in Southtown. So since I'm part of the community, like when they when they have stuff that we can film, like I've I've got to be there and help them out. Like an elephant elephant? Uh, like, imagine the pink elephant with the marching oh, glass. Okay. Yeah, that's what we got. But we had to have it delivered and, and placed and everything. And I got to follow the car, you know, the gotcha. car, the, the GoPro and everything, which I took video of a little bit of the sure. perimeter. But I, I always stop about four blocks right before my destination and I never take, you know, I never take video outside because that's an invasion of privacy. I mean, you know, you let me in here and everything. So... I, uh, I gotta get you talking just a little bit so we can get some good video, but you're, you're so exhausted. You, how, how long did you uh, train today? What, a couple hours? Yeah, so I, I just hate that you're gassed, but you are. I'm not really gassed. What do you want to talk about? Well, let's, let's start um, and just say, okay, how about this? Um, the, I don't do show prep because it's not fun. It sounds scripted and I hate sounding scripted, so I just get lost sometimes. What about that Bell Tour? Um, not the Bellator, but the, the Matron uh, video about, I, I thought he was kind of trash in Springfield. Like, I grew up in the streets. Like, what was that? Did he really grow up in the streets? I thought he went to Griffin. Of course not. I don't know anyone that went to Griffin that grew up in the streets that actually uh, grew I, I don't know. Which is weird, wasn't it? Like, I'm not trying to trash him, but you if you went to uh, a prep school that charges tuition, that's not a part of the streets. That's not... Did you go, just because you go there, is that like your alma mater? If you, like, you go there, what if you don't like graduate from there? Then no, that wouldn't be your alma mater. I like where you're going though. I like I like where you're going. That's that's called a lead. I like that. It's, by the way, let's do some I research. I know how that happened. Let's, I know if I went to Illinois, University of Illinois and got all my school credits, but then I graduated over in UI. 
UIC or something. I'm pretty sure I did. I agree. UIC diploma. <laughs> <laughs> So how so, long, when did you find out that you were on the bill? Like somebody calls you where? I found out, like, well, it's all email, man. We don't even, I don't even know these people. These people are just, I don't, it's like to catch a predator almost. It's like emails, like it just seems like they're fictitious people. They got a bunch of numbers. I don't know who's behind these emails. They could be real people. But I just get an email that says, it's almost like you're a damn hitman. Yeah, but that's how you feel, right? You're, uh, that's what it is, man. I get an email. You got work. It's October 21st. Here's your target. And then I find out that my original target backs out on me. Yeah, but how do you train, reason. though, if you don't know who the target is? That doesn't make sense to me. You can't train for everybody. I mean, in any other sport, you watch film, well, right? Fight, man. There's, <laughs> there's rules to the game. There's no, there's nothing. Oh, I have to train a certain way for this person. No, your ass needs to get a complete fight game. If the guy's tall, I want to stay close. Make him come to me. If he's, but how do you know if the guy's tall? You see, you know who's fighting. They got stats. They got the numbers. You said you don't know who you're fighting. So how do you? Oh, I know who I'm fighting. You don't oh, know who I'm so fighting. You do know. I know who I'm fighting. No, no, that's fine. I didn't know. Right. I. That's what I'm trying to figure out because I'm like. No, no, I know. I don't get to live in this world, but I see yeah. Rocky for Christ's sake. Okay, he had to go back and forth and bob and weave, and he had to learn if I was his right hand, even though it's a southpaw. See, that's because he only fought one way. He's not. He couldn't adjust. He adjusted with HGH as the years went by. Right. He, he, he saw when he, he fought Mr. T, he had to adjust a little bit, and then he went right back to his old self, banging it out. So you know who you're going to fight. How are you right now changing your regiment uh, in order to counteract what I can't ask you a question about? How's that sound? What are you doing different in your, your routine uh, now as opposed to before to change it up to, to cater it to this fight? What are you doing differently? Oh, I'm gonna make a. I'm just try, I'm gonna be training harder for this. It's, it's not that I've never. I'm always training, so but the intensity level is gonna get it's very um, extreme to the point to where it is unbearable. So you are gonna kill yourself before you get there. Like not not no. all. The, excuse me. No. You're gonna push yourself. I use the wrong phrase. You're gonna push yourself to the limits to make sure you don't run out of gas. Is that what it's about? Like I don't endurance. Don't worry about that stuff. That's that's secondary to me. I already got that gas tank's been full. Well, then what is it that that you're pushing so for? Just different aspects of the game, becoming a better, complete fighter. Well, okay, so what are you what are you doing differently? I'm I'm trying to get to that question. Like, what I don't are you do anything differently? I do everything more intently now. I know what you're trying to get more out of me, but there's no, nothing it's, else to it. No, I, I'm just trying to see if there's a different like training style or no, if there's something just, that you're focused on. We're doing on. some things. We're doing some different things. I'm trying to focus on just you know, just paying attention more, being able to you know focus in while shit's going haywire, being able to capitalize on positions and shit like that. No matter how wild the fight's so, gonna look to you, I'm gonna be zoned in the whole okay. time. So you don't think a split second's gonna change your focus? Your is, is it more mental than now? It's or always physical? been mental. That's what I've been trying to tell. I had a, I had I put a live video the other day. What was the live video? What is that? Oh, if it like the you know. I'm waiting. Yeah. Just, just raise your hand. Just like ah. You would. You know what that is? But awesome. did the video and I explained why it isn't. Everybody good. Why are some people? Some people are just better at this, and I really think it has to do with the, their mental aspect, how they look at things. Cause you can sit there and train all day, and then sometimes you just gotta be a killer. You gotta be just looking to act to really, really hurt that person. No matter how much, how many times they're tagging you, no matter how much punishment you're taking. Your focus is hurt that person. I'll take I'll take ten shots to give you the one that ends the fight. Um, that's what it is. You gotta really have a killer's mentality in there. It's a fucking fight. I don't care what anyone says. It's not a sport. It's not. It's a fight. I'm going in there to hurt somebody. I'm going in there to try to kill you legally. I think this is the only time I've ever heard this, and it's the truth, 
and it's heavy. Um, I think I know that people love to watch barbarians battle, but I mean, you're the only one that's like, no, you're really trying to kill somebody. And I, I appreciate that honesty. I think if more people looked at it like that, they would, um, they could understand the bigger picture better, I guess. I mean, a lot of people are saying, you know, things are staged, especially with, well, what's your, what's your comment on, um, the, uh, the CM Punk? Like, did he go out like a punk? Or did he, like, play a character? Or did he actually get his ass kicked? I mean, that I don't know. That was a waste of time. Because wasn't he essentially going to be, in my understanding, he was going in there as a legitimate fighter, and then somebody's like, hey, uh, instead of being an amateur, we'll pay you to be in a higher, uh, publicized, in a, in a bigger card, and kind of jump from amateur to professional? Is that how it happened? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. It's just a big TV thing. They're doing whatever they're doing for their companies. And it sold a lot. It brought a lot of... And it, the only positive thing I do see that came out of that, regardless of the shamble of a display it was, was the fact that wrestling fans... It actually hurt wrestling, if you ask me. Because it gave their fans a glimpse of what, what it really is what these people that you love to watch and dance. the dance and all that stuff. It shows the you actors. that they're exactly but it shows but dude, people are stupid. Oh, yeah. They think that shit's real, regardless of the dance. Like reality they think TV? you're really taking they a think reality TV's real too? Yeah, but it's different when you're right. doing it. It's the same thing. It just depends on who's doing it and how you're editing like editing the shit. Yeah. I mean you can make the shit look crazy or you can make it look you can be legit about it. If most of the time when you're legit about it, it looks bored as fuck, so no one's gonna watch that shit. So they they tailor make their shit to make it more appealing to the masses. So whatever. okay, so with this fight, and and it's the same face. thing they fucking did with that. They made this shit appealing to the masses. And that's so it. best case scenario, what happens? You walk in and destroy this person in thirty seconds, or are you play in the long so Whatever. I, I we can't be care. whatever. We we can dance care. around scenarios. I mean, if you've Dude, got I'm a shark, man. I'm ready to take him to the third round and drown his ass. I don't care. The pressure's gonna be the same in every round. The punches are only gonna get harder because he's gonna get tired. It's not that I'm punching any harder. It's just I'm punching the same strength every single round. It doesn't matter how tired I am. My punches are hard as fuck still. So something he has to deal with. Other guys get light. And that's the plays to my advantage because I have a big fucking head. So if their punches get lighter and they're hitting a brick wall, that makes sense. it's yeah. nothing to me. And if my punches are still the same and they're tired, it's simple, just thugged out mathematics. I can yeah, yeah. So Homer they, Simpson, your ass. Well, that's what, that was my okay. next question. You're basically just going to let them hit you. No, I'm not going to let them hit me. But the fact is, if you hit me, you can't hurt me. So I don't give a shit about that either. Damn, I got. I don't know what to say right now. I really don't because this is. Man. It is what it is. No, no, I'm not I, worried about. I'm not gonna let you hit me. But if you hit me, so fucking what? Yeah, I think that's <laughs> the most intimidating thing that one could do is be in the ring and just give with hey, an octagon and. My no, favorite fighters do that. They're fucking bullies. Yeah. My favorite fighters are bullies. A lot of fighters will take your heart and punch just a live smile at you. And, and you'll have the announcer, oh, that hurt. That's why everyone always smiles when it hurts. Snow. Some fucking people are, like to that's, demoralize Yeah, that's psychologically ruined. Like, you'll be out of the what fight. What are you going to do? No, I'm sitting there talking shit, eating your punches and still talking shit to you. Opinion. What are you going to do? So you just better hope. What's the difference? Now let's get down to brass tacks. What's the difference in... And the paycheck between your uh, fight before this and this fight. My corners get paid. Okay. I'll leave it at that. Okay. I don't know what that means. My corners have get per diems to for oh, like. Oh shit! My, okay. That's how awesome oh. it is. They even get money. We don't have. We don't have to struggle. If you don't got a good job and all that shit, once you make it to a certain level, man, they, they take care of you, man. I mean, See, and that's something I wanted to touch on because you're, you've always done your regular job along with training, and, and um, there are different people that are going to listen to the podcast and different people that are going to listen to this. 
I, I don't need to go as long as the, the podcast did because we had a fun conversation. That's for a different, different audience. But um, has your schedule at the, I'll call it a day job, but your schedule between that world of either 9 to 5 or 8 to 6 or whatever, has that been affected by your current training regimen? Nope. It's all the same? Same business as usual. Intense, just more villainous. That's all. You are so you're so focused, man. I got nothing. Like I, <laughs> I'm sorry about the nervous laugh, but you're so focused. I was in the wrong thing, and that's okay. I'm fine with it. Um, okay, so after Memphis, what's next? Whenever they call, Bellator is gonna get a, a awakening when it comes to me. I'm just gonna have like an automated yes to whoever they send me to fight. I don't care who it is. Because you're a contract as long as point. they as long as they don't call me on some BS like week notice, two week notice. Depends. You never know. I might have been in super shape or something, but you know, as long as I got at least you know three weeks, I'm taking the fight. Three weeks. I'm taking the fight. I don't stop. I don't. No, I don't not train. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell a camp feels like now. Who's? I just, Okay, you can't say who's going to be this this fight, but who is a mark that you want to go after this year or your number one um, competition? Who, who's something you, you like, I want to get this person and either destroy them mentally, physically, just to show that there's nothing that can stop me? The first guy that lined up for me, I can't even release that, but he's on the list. You know who you are. We fucking run. We're cool and all, but still really, fucking that, fights like, a fight. The, the person backed out. I don't know what his name <laughs> is. I don't know what happened, man. I don't know what it happened, but you got fucking plenty enough time. If you got injured or whatever the fuck, whatever, <laughs> that's plenty of time to heal. I don't fucking been in, but at the same time, I guess I appreciate that you respect that you don't want to take a fight with me if you are hurt, because that would suck for you. But okay, so there's one in the pocket and backed out, and then I just got the one today. We'll see what the hell their camp says. I don't know, but I got the name. I signed the contract today, and I'm ready to go. So how's that work? Regardless, because I know that mentally you wouldn't let yourself lose. Physically, you wouldn't let yourself lose. But how's that work for people that don't understand uh, fight paychecks? Like, is it a bonus if you? Um, go longer? Is it a bonus if it's Usually, quicker? Usually, I mean, if you get a good enough contract where you can get this is a, a ridiculous flat fee, that's idea. But, and that's win or lose, but majority of the time it's it's on a uh, pretty much win bonus type of pay scale to where whatever you're getting to show up, you they usually double it, so. Okay. Yeah. So, what does that mean as far as uh, food snacks for the kids? Does that mean you're gonna take them out for ice cream to get a bigger check? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Business as usual. The reason I'm poor now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you're gonna buy buy a car. I didn't, I didn't Jesus, say, man. I didn't say that you were gonna buy. We'll do um, a trip. We may do something fun. We're not going fucking crazy, but it ain't like that. Kids ain't. Everyone gets a PlayStation. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> I was, I was just saying because I, no. I imagine that everyone no. has a, a schedule and everyone has their own environment that they're in and they're they're part of this big team that is a family. But I imagine there's got to be some sacrifice. There, there's got to be. You're seeing now. My kids are sleeping before I even get to go in there. Yeah. Cause I got to train. You know, I get to go to my. I mean, there's a lot of freedoms I have, but at the same time, I miss. Uh, you know, hours that are just hours, but once they, they, they add up. Yeah. And so this shit can't be for not. I can't be over here wasting fucking people's time not doing what I need to do to make sure it wasn't in vain, so. So, like, right now, within the last 12 months, would you say that it has been the most worth it? Like, for all the work that you put in, like, all the sacrifice that everybody got there, would you say this is, this is the time where it's the most worth it? Dude, I feel like I'm the janitor at the company that's known in the damn job and has performed every fucking job at the company and they finally gave him a fucking shot in the executive office. That's it. 
I've been at this fuck. I've been at this fucking job forever, and okay. earned and paid my fucking dues and yeah. sweep the fucking floors and cleaned up the bathrooms. I love that. And now I'm fucking. So now I get to put on a fucking suit and tie. Fourteen years of that. Yeah. That's a career in its fucking self. Yeah. That's my time. I took. I took a fucking career to get to a fucking career. Yeah. That's, it's amazing to see that you're still just as hungry right now when you have a shot or a key to the door, I guess it is. I mean, because this is your chance to, I hate to say come out swinging because it's, it's a overused analogy, but I mean, what else could I say other than this is your chance to come out swinging and to show everybody that you should have got a shot at, you know, X, Y, Z, you know, one, two, three times, whatever, whatever it was. I mean, and then after you do, you know, cross that finish line, that there's got to be stuff pouring in and I can't imagine what it'd be like in your head to be shut down all those times and then I mean the only mentality that I would hope that I would have is we're going to push forward no matter what and then you know you open the door and I don't know how you're going to keep that momentum going I mean I'm not saying I don't believe in you I'm just saying like like once you you attain that victory and cross that line you're like oh shit I get it it just then, started yeah, but if you, if you fight and then you win, and then uh, excuse me, you fight, you win, you go through all that, and then mentally you're going to have this thing like, how do you go further? I'd be like, okay, we're going to do it again. And Keep again, winning. Again. It's, a, it's crack. Okay. It's heroin. Okay. You know, you got to, you fiend for this shit. You get weird when you don't fight for a while. But how do you, how, how do you balance that? Because you just said you lost time. You, you lose hours when you don't get to do things with your family. Like, how do you balance those? How do you balance the addiction? You gotta understand that this addiction, they're gonna be in college and the, the, the sweat and the blood for me is what's gonna pay for that shit. And, and that's that. This little fucking high school bullshit and all that stuff, my kids are actually gonna be able to uh, pursue something they wanna do, so. Rather be being visual or something that they have to Right, do. I'm not doing what I wanna do. Think I wanna fucking fight? I don't want to fucking fight. It was the easiest fucking way for me to get some notoriety to do other things. Like what you're doing, this type of shit. Way smarter than I am a fighter. It's That's part of the reason I'm a good fighter. That's all mental. So uh, this it's just it's just the easiest way for me to do it. I didn't do things the right way. I, do it, I took the back alleys and, you know, and took those ways and... So now that people know me, and I, I don't want to like be like one of those fucking weirdos that transition over to movies, but I'll be that fucking weirdo that's getting the paycheck for writing those pictures, you know? That's awesome. Well, that's why I want to hang out, because you've always been a larger-than-life character. You've always been inspiring, and it sounds really dumb that I, I tell people that I, well, I, I have to... I have to rephrase it. I worked really, really hard to put things together that, that people would care about, and now... I get to use this platform to highlight the people that inspire me, so it's huge to have you, um, I mean, you know, just sit down with me and, I mean, people, I, I took some shots and we're literally at your training facility and it's bonkers to know, because I, I, I hate to have it, but I think we're all a little, um, we look in the rear view, but I, I just see um, just me being like 14 years old and seeing you as this larger than life character and just destroying everything, uh, not, not in a negative destruction, but like in football and, and, and weightlifting and, and wrestling and, and all these records. And I'm just like, I'm looking from that rear view and I'm like, holy shit, that guy's a superhero. And then now, like 15 years later, you're still finding a way to put your passions into something physical and you're crushing it. And I get to sit down with you and essentially highlight what you're doing. So that's awesome. Like, I really appreciate you letting me hang out and I'm sorry for fanboying out in the last like, you know, the, the last statement that I have right now, but it's just, it's, it's awesome to see and hear that you didn't always take the right way or, or, the, or the right road. Like, like you said, I mean, you are, you took the back alleys and you took the hard road, but it's like in, on the outside, it didn't look like that. It looked like you could do whatever you wanted to do and you could be whoever you wanted to be. And, and just to, to know that there's that human part of success, it, it inspires me, you know? It's you, you're, you're admitting like, hey, I, I didn't do this the best way and I could have done it better. And to me, there, there's no better connection than, than ad admitting, you know, that, that uh, you didn't always take the right choices or roads. So, but I, I don't want to take too much of your time up and I'm sorry for, like I said, fanboying out for the last 
whatever. But uh, I'm just super pumped about the fight, and um, I, I, I can't say I can make it there, but this stuff's going to go online, and we are going to follow you digitally. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out, man. No problem. Yeah. My luck is it shut off halfway through. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. 20 Lincoln's Legends is on a mission. Its goal is to spread awareness about the people that make the capital city great, digging deeper into the people and the art that collectively are the culture of the capital city.